Welcome back to Mastering Maven. Today we're going to be going over the different controls on the user interface. On the left is the Geofence button, which I covered in a previous video. Below that is the Waypoint Mission, also covered in a previous video, but we'll be coming back to that for some additional stuff. On the right is a Flight Log button, which allows you to automatically upload your flight logs to Air Data. Be covering that in a future video. Links to the user manuals and the info which gives you the current version of the app. Tap the drone to connect to the app. Starting at the top you see an indicator that tells you you're ready to go and that you're in GPS mode. Tapping the gear will bring up the settings menu and allow you to calibrate your compass and IMU and switch between internal and SD card storage. Also set the device charging which allows you to charge your phone from the controller. You can change your display settings for distance and altitude, meters and feet, your speed, meters per second, kilometers per hour or miles per hour and your gimbal mode to follow or FPV. From here you can also change the controller stick configuration, turn the auxiliary light on or off, and change the video dimensions fit to screen or fit to width. You can also turn on the controller grid display, set the user location to display, the home point defaults to on, you can also control displaying points of interest or set a point of interest. Tapping the set POI button, bring up the map. You see the point of interest that I set. We can reposition that and save or don't save it. From here, you can set the home point to automatically update when you're in follow me mode based on the distance you've moved. You can use the built-in checklist to check all the status everything from batteries to SD card storage. You can change your VR headset settings as well as setting your distance and altitude limits. Back on the main screen, tapping the three dots will allow you to switch between modes. You can go to full screen or VR mode, waypoint or geofence missions, the virtual co-pilot, Course lock and home lock, which I'll cover in a future video. Touching the camera icon will allow you to switch between photo and video mode, start and stop recording, as well as change your camera settings. In the lower left hand corner, you'll see your speed, altitude, and distance from home. Next, we have a takeoff button. Tapping that will bring up a warning that tells you what it's going to do. It's going to climb to four feet and hover in place. Pressing OK will launch your drone. Next to that you see indicators that give you the signal strength as well as a map button. Tapping the map button turns on the map view. Tapping the map will bring it to full screen. Tapping it again will make it go away, and then you can turn it back on. In the lower right-hand corner, you see all of your signal strength indicators. This shows you the number of GPS satellites you're connected to, your drone battery level, controller battery level, phone battery level, and a GPS indicator that shows what your phone's GPS signal strength is. If I start recording on the controller, the camera indicator turns red, indicating that I'm recording, and then when I stop recording, it will turn back to the normal color. Tapping the camera indicator brings up the camera controls, and I can start and stop recording from there. At the top of the screen, you see a return to home button. Tapping that will begin the return to home process. It gives you a warning. 
tells you what your return to home altitude is in meters and your current altitude again in meters. Tapping OK will begin the return to home process. To stop the return to home process, touch that button again, which is now turned into a red X, and the return to home process will terminate. The drone status indicator tells you what mode your drone is currently in. You can see now we're in go home mode, and that is now switched to landing mode. That's been the overview of the Maven app user interface. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching. And if you feel like it's earned it, I'd appreciate a like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.